Bounces off the field. Grimshaw, I think he was able to slide forward just barely. The hit was supplied by Dave Ferguson and Jethro Franklin. Brett Grimshaw is a hard running back. In fact, he impressed Coach Jim Sweeney of the Bulldogs very much. He stopped at the line, but he has that strength. He keeps the legs moving to fall forward there on that extra lunge. We have a measurement coming, but from our angle, it looks like that extra oomph got him the first down. But it is close. It goes over on down. Wow. Big play by the Fresno State defense. Our score is 7-0. The Bulldogs lead with 345. After that first series, he's really settled down. Here's the reverse to Ron Jenkins. He wants to throw the football. Brock Smith is out there, and it is intercepted at the 18-yard line. Maurice Smith with 254 remaining in the first quarter. no good wide to the left side that is his first miss of the year he was perfect last week two for two and with 13 24 left in the first half bulldog seven fresno state leading state 11 yard line jethro franklin is there the pass is thrown and it is caught for a touchdown chris earl Fresno State watched the throw, has the time. And what a catch at the 45-yard line. Ron Jenkins. 19 yards and a first down. Great concentration. And seeing the ball into his hands all the way was Jenkins looking back, beating double-team coverage. But look at that. That's a beautiful sight and a magnificent grab by Jenkins. The pass is complete. A first down to Craig Jones, but flags go down in the of this first half. It's third down. Bouchelle complete for a first down at the 32-yard line. And it was Craig Jones again. You said it, they went back to the big guy. From San Jose, 6'4", 235 pounds. Big hole right side, Dean Collins has an opening all the way to the 25-yard line. They will need three more for the first down. The offensive line on the right side does an outstanding job here for Collins. Bulldogs 75, Langham, and 70... Six with a come with going back over the middle to the tight end. Dean Collins is out to the left and throw the football to Kelly Skipper. He breaks a tackle. He's in for the touchdown. <laughs> Kelly Skipper has improved as a receiver out of the backfield. And they utilize his speed, clearing the area. Hunter had a chance there, but Skipper able to dance into the end zone and give the dogs the lead. The backs are playing way deep, like 15 yards off. Michelle with time, fires the football. Complete for a first down at the 38-yard line. Right now, they are in Bell Eye territory. Jenkins to the right, and the pass is thrown to him. He makes the catch and is out of bounds to the 28-yard line. 43 seconds left in this first half. Complete to Jenkins, breaks a tackle, out of bounds, first down. 28 seconds left. To the right. Bouchel from the shotgun. He is hit as he throws, the pass is out there, and what a catch at the 28-yard line. The clock will run out, and that is the end of the first half. Tremendous catch by Ronnie Jenkins. Concentration again. 
It's a great throw, but Jenkins couldn't get out of bounds, so the clock expires. They got the proper chunk. Belli was never before seen on videotape. We have a shot to get it today. We've broken through security here at Bulldog Locker Room. Come on, let's go. I think I hear it. They're doing it. Precise down and out and good timing from the quarterback and the wide receiver. And a good throw by Bouchelle. And you see number six, the defender, Wilcox. Too much of a cushion again. They want to get some points on this drive and establish dominance. Big third down. The pass is completed at the 21-yard line. And it's Ron Jenkins again. He has made three terrific catches. Two in the first half, one here in the third quarter. This time, though... Wilcox went for the interception, and it's a strong throw by Bouchel, and he came back to the ball. You see where Wilcox is. He's right. He was 3 of 4 last week, and uh, his numbers, he's looking for number 58. Is <laughs> he something else? 17 to 7. Barry Belli. Seven minutes and 58 seconds remaining in the third quarter. Bulldogs by 10. Unless they make the big mistake. Second and 10. Jethro Franklin. <laughs> and there's the pressure from that defensive front. He had 19 and a half sacks a year ago. 67 is a man possessed on a roll now to get to the QB, and he's nailing him right there. Ferguson came in a little bit. Krause standing at his five. Alexander will have a return. The wall is set up on the left side. A great block. And Andre finds a sideline to the 50. He's to the 40. A flag is down. Alexander will go the distance. Touchdown. Fresno State. But hold on here. There is a yellow flag at the 46-yard line after a 58-yard return by Andre Alexander. What a block by Antoine Hollywood. The clip will take it back. No clip there. That was Bowen's block. There's oh, Holly's my. block. That didn't look like a clip. Trump missed him there. Alexander will make you miss. Millsap can't get him there. Then a great cutback. I didn't see any clips. If we had one, it was out of our picture. But Alexander with a magnificent move. Singer with pressure from Rivera. In trouble. He sacked. Craig Atade. His second sack of the game. And he's the young man who was playing behind William Brown last week. And he's having a heck of a night. Here comes a Tate again. He had him by the collar and ripped him down. Three sacks for Craig Tate. He had three and a half all last year. When it's third and 22, you're not going to buy the play action fake. Singer. Telford started. Gave way to Bouchelle. He carried the team for a while. Gave them 10 points. And now Telford's back out there. And completes his first pass. To Ron Jenkins. Breaks the tackle. Stopped finally at the 42-yard line by linebacker Marty Lamolino. Wilcox missed the tackle down. Roddy Piper. You know your roots like that. Singer looping him downfield. He has a man open, and it's a touchdown for Grimshaw. Brett Grimshaw, wide open at the 15-yard line. And 
the fans from Western Illinois who have been able to squeeze their way into a jam-packed Bulldog Stadium cheering on their sideline. It is 17 to 13. Grimshaw came out of the backfield. Nobody picked him up. And he is wide open. Now, this is a linebacker assignment, but there's not a linebacker in the area. And Grimshaw is gone. Third time this year that Fresno State has been beaten with linebackers coming and the backs getting free. And Bennett makes it 17 to 14. That Nine was an impressive. yard line. Dean Collins with a big pull and up near a first down. I believe he has it. He needed to get to the 38 yard line. From the left hash mark. It is good and we are tied at 17 with two minutes and one second to play in this ball game. Fresno State 17 and Western Illinois 17. With two timeouts. From the I formation. The give, the run by Kelly Skipper. He's to the 50 yard line. And he is down at the 46. Great block by Brian Fallon, the center. Very predictable call, though, on third and two. First priority is to pick up the first down. He had to get to the 41, but there's a lot more there. And then when it broke open, Skipper gets into Leatherneck territory. 17-17 our score. Bouchelle has time. Completes the pass to Ron Jenkins at the 25-yard line. Patience by Eric Bouchelle. He'll be able to find his target. Great blocking from the offensive line. And Bouchelle, watch him. Patience. Wait, wait. Now the break and the throw to Jenkins. 22 yards before Wilcox can get him. Put through. 11 seconds left. He's unbelievable. It's 20 to 17, and Barry Belli, with seven seconds remaining, has given Fresno State the edge. Magic Johnson calls it winning time. It's Barry Belli time. This is right down Main Street. No question about it. Forget the freeze job. Barry Belli just put it right down the middle. Second field goal from Barry Belli. Who else? The dogs win again. By a last second, Barry Belli field goal. We're here with the hero. Barry, uh, what was going through your mind when you kicked it? Uh, I thought it was kind of funny they called a timeout again like UOP last year. I don't know. Um, I knew I was, I don't know. I was just really confident. And uh, I just wanted to make it for everybody. You know, every team tries to pull a psych job on you by calling those timeouts, but it just has no effect on you. No, it's kind of fun to go over and talk to Coach, see what he has to say. <laughs> <laughs> Let's watch it again on videotape replay. Barry, can you go over it for us? Okay. Um, Brian snapped it, and it was a good snap. Ronnie held it, and I hit it pretty good, I guess. Yeah. Straight and true, 39 yards. Uh, this is going to be old hat for you, Barry. Yeah, it's kind of fun. It's a lot of fun. Oh, I'm sure Randy and Steve have some questions for you. Randy. 